I'm sorry, but this is not the time or place for children. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at surprisingly disturbing films that may appear family friendly at first glance. No R rated films are included, and there may be spoilers. I'm so happy the gods put our packages together. It's because we belong together. Number 10 Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Roald Dahl's imaginative, darkly humorous books have been hailed as classic children's literature for decades. However, reading is not the same as seeing, and scenes that come across as merely odd in a book can have a much scarier impact when they're brought to life. One example is when normal-looking women transform into monsters in The Witches. Another is the trip down the Chocolate River in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where the boat enters a dark tunnel to an unknown destination and Willy Wonka begins chanting rhymes about danger growing and the grizzly reaper mowing. Yes, the danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Though this scene was taken directly from the book, it's still rather jarring in a G-rated film. Number 9. The Dark Crystal Since it was directed by Jim Henson of The Muppets and marketed as a family-friendly film, there was no reason for parents to feel nervous about taking their kids to see The Dark Crystal when it came out. However, this is a little different from Henson's other work. What do you want of me? A shard. A crystal shard. That's all you want? A crystal shard? It has amazing puppets and colorful settings, but the plot is more like Lord of the Rings. Innocent creatures called Gelflings must undertake a dangerous quest to save the world and naturally fight evil villains. <laughs> Not bad at all. These villains look like giant spiky vultures, enjoy eating small animals alive, and sometimes torture intelligent creatures by sucking their souls out and turning them into zombies. Yeah. And now the beam will rid you of your fears, your thoughts, your vital essence. Pretty heavy stuff for kids who are used to Sesame Street. Number 8. The Fox and the Hound There are serious aspects to a lot of Disney animated movies, and in this one, the main conflict is right there in the title. A little fox cub and hunting hound are best friends growing up, but eventually must come to terms with the fact that they're natural enemies. Copper, you're my very best friend. And you're mine too, Todd. How does this happen? Well, an older dog chases the fox and gets hit by a train, then the hound and his owner hunt down the fox out of revenge, and then they get attacked by a bear, and uh, honestly, it's a mess. If you and your kids are looking for a sweet story where a dog and a fox teach everyone to be more accepting of one another, this isn't that. Get out of the way. Number 7. Bridge to Terabithia some of you probably remember reading this book as a kid. If not, we're about to spoil it for you. Sorry. Honestly, though, we may be doing you a favor. The first two-thirds of the story are happy and imaginative. A young boy and girl become friends and make up a fantasy world together where they act out heroic scenes. It's a giant troll. No, it's a giant tree that almost killed us. You think that tree just fell all by itself? Then, practically out of nowhere, a main character dies horribly. The film becomes a tragedy, and your heart is crushed as you watch a child struggle with previously unknown depths of grief. I wasn't there to go with her. It's my fault. No, 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 no. It's not your fault. None of that makes it so. Yes, all right, there is a somewhat uplifting ending if you can get there without losing all hope and turning off the movie. It's an ancient forest, Maybell, full of magical creatures and friendly giants, anything you can imagine. But you gotta look really hard. But keep your mind wide open. Number six, Gremlins. I just call him Gizmo. He seems to like it. Ah, oh, look at that cute little fellow. Sure, the others aren't as cute and they get up to mischief, but they're just little puppets, so it can't be too scary, right? Well, bear this in mind, the movie's rated PG, but it's listed under horror, and it has an honest-to-goodness kill count. Get out of my the human deaths occur mainly off-screen, the gremlins aren't so lucky. When the mischievous creatures begin wreaking havoc in a small town, kids and adults must band together to destroy the little rascals, and they do, in a variety of surprisingly violent ways. So, even though the gremlins are evil, young viewers may find it disturbing to watch them get killed not just once, but numerous times. I warned you, with Mokwai comes much responsibility, but you didn't listen, and you see what happens. Number 5. Coraline. Coraline is reminiscent of those old fairy tales intended to frighten children into obedience. Hey kids, wouldn't it be fun to live in a magical world where your parents didn't make you follow the rules? Well, that's how you get your soul sucked out and your eyes replaced with buttons. Don't remember our names, but I remember my true mommy. 
When Coraline meets some trapped ghost children and sees the Otherworld version of her mother transform into a hideous monster, she decides this isn't the place for her. You're back. And you brought vermin with you? She manages to escape, and you think the terror is over, but no. The movie has to give you one final heart palpitation when a skeleton hand tries to drag her back to her doom. This is one nightmare-inducing, PG-rated stop-motion animated film. <laughs> Number 4. The Never-Ending Story This is another movie based on a fantasy book for kids and another example of how reading something may not prepare you for seeing it. In fact, the main character finds himself magically entering the world of a book. But before he gets there, we all have to watch the book's protagonist endure various hardships like walking a deadly sphinx gauntlet and fighting a wolf monster with a stone knife. If you come any closer, I will rip you to shreds. To be fair, those scenes aren't too shocking for a fantasy movie, even one intended for youngsters. Unfortunately, whatever this movie may lack in scariness, it makes up for in sadness. When our young hero watches helplessly and cries as his faithful horse slowly sinks into a swamp to drown. Artex, please. You're letting the sadness of the swamps get to you. You have to try. You have to care. For me. You're my friend. Number 3. Watership Down at first glance, especially if you haven't read the novel, this looks like a cute animated film about rabbits. Well, it may be animated and about rabbits, but Watership Down is anything but cute. It's downright horrifying. The field, the field, it's covered with blood. After a young rabbit sees an ominous vision of blood on a field, he and his friends leave their home, only to be attacked at every turn by humans, dogs, and even other rabbits in extremely violent scenes. Can you run? I think no. Probably the most disturbing moment occurs when another rabbit describes how his previous Warren got buried, and all the rabbits inside were trapped and killed. He didn't see this since he escaped, but they show it anyway, just to make sure no one leaves the film without nightmares. Run, not with dead bodies. We couldn't get out. Everything turned mad. Number two, Return to Oz. That's where we landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> Wicked Witch? Where are all the munchkins? Wait, there was a movie sequel to The Wizard of Oz that came out 46 years later? Yes, and there's a good reason you've probably never heard of it. L. Frank Baum wrote many Oz books, several of which feature Dorothy. However, none of them involve Dorothy being sent to an asylum to undergo electroshock therapy. Pretty soon they'll draw all those unpleasant dreams out of your head. We can't imagine why. I mean, anyway, Dorothy escapes and goes to Oz where she meets some familiar characters from the first movie, like the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion, and some new characters from later Oz books, like the Evil Gnome King and Princess Mombi. This princess wants Dorothy's head, since she has a collection of heads that she occasionally swaps out with her own. Wait, what? I think you're very beautiful. I should hope so. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Spoiler alert, only one survives. Where the Wild Things Are. Short, sweet book for kids become long, depressing movie for no one. Things are getting crazy here. This thing's dangerous. You're scaring me. You know what I say? You got a problem? Eat it. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. If you enjoy watching literal garbage, you might like this film, but probably not. We can do anything by working with each other. Come on, kids, take a shot. Show them what we really got. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Grave of the Fireflies Should I get a doctor, Satan? Why did he hurt you? <laughs> The fact that this movie was released on a bill with the whimsical My Neighbor Totoro is unfortunate, if not downright criminal, because this may be the most tragic animated film ever made. It follows the story of Seda and Setsuko, 
two children struggling to survive in the final months of World War II. After their village in Kobe is bombed, they're left homeless and without parents. What's wrong? I'm hungry and I'm thirsty too. Seta becomes increasingly desperate to save his little sister as she grows hungry and sick. And we're sorry to tell you this, but nothing ends well for anybody. Grave of the Fireflies is widely considered a masterpiece war drama, and as such, it may be too much for adults to handle, let alone children. <laughs> Have you ever accidentally shown your children something you thought was appropriate only to discover that you were terribly wrong? We sympathize. Tell us about it in the comments. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.